if f of x plus 2 times f of 1 over 1 minus x equals x, then our goal in this question is to find the value, the numerical value of f of 2. Now pause the video right now and see if you can answer this puzzle. And if you're done, post your answer on the comment section down below. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, so given this functional equation f of x plus 2 times f of 1 over 1 minus x equals x, then our goal is to find the value of f of 2. Now, our solution to this question looks something like this. First, let's x be equal to 2. Why not? Because we want f of 2. So if we replace all x with 2, we have something like f of 2 plus 2 times f of 1 over 1 minus 2 equals 2. If we simplify this, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So 1 over negative 1 is negative 1. So if x equals 2, we have f of 2 plus 2 times f of negative 1 equals 2. Next, why not? Let x be equal to this value negative 1. So let's see what will happen. If we do that, we have f of negative 1 plus 2 times f of 1 over 1 minus negative 1 equals negative 1 because we replace all x with negative 1. Now simplifying this, 1 minus negative 1 is just 1 over 2 or 2 on the denominator. So we have if x equals 1, we have f of negative 1 plus 2 times f of 1 over 2 equals negative 1. Next, what if x is 1 over 2? So if we do that, if we replace all x with 1 over 2, we have f of 1 over 2 plus 2 times f of 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2 equals 1 over 2. Now 1 minus 1 over 2 is just 1 over 2. And the 1 over 1 over 2 is just 2. Surprisingly, let's go back to f of 2. So if x equals 1 half, or 1 over 2, we have f of 1 over 2 plus 2 times f of 2 equals 2. And using these three result, we can now find the value of f of 2. First, let us r be equal to f of 2. To make this simple, let s be equal to f of negative 1 and let t be equal to f of 1 over 2. So the first equation becomes r plus 2s equals 2. The second equation becomes s plus 2t equals negative 1. The third equation becomes t plus 2r equals 1 over 2. Now using this three result, this three equation, we can now solve for the value of r which is what we want to find and its equivalent is f of 2. Now using the first two equations, what we're going to do is to eliminate this positive 2s. So let's multiply the second equation by negative 2. If we do that, we have negative 2s minus 4t equals 2. Next, copy the first equation. And if we add these two equations, we cancel out positive 2s and negative 2s. So we have r minus 4t equals 4. And then, using this result and the third equation, our goal now is to eliminate this negative 4t. So let's multiply the third equation by positive 4. If we do that, we have 4t plus 8r equals 2. Now copy the resulting equation r minus 4t equals 4. And take note, if we add these two results, we eliminate negative 4t and positive 4t. This is just 0. So we have r plus 8r, we have 9r equals 6. And then, let's solve for the value of r. Divide both sides by 9 and 6 over 9. We can simplify this or we get the lowest term as 2 over 3. And take note, this r is simply equal to f of 2. Therefore, f of 2 is equal to 2 over 3. And we are done. So f of 2 in this question is 2 over 3. And of course, someone in the comment section will ask, can you figure out what is the value of f of x? So given this function, 
can you figure out what is the value of f of x to make sure that the value of f of 2 is 2 over 3? And the answer is, of course, we can solve for the value of f of x using the method that we use to find the value of f of 2. Now, I will show you the process on how to solve for the value of f of x. First, let x or replace all x with 1 over 1 minus x. If we do that and if we simplify this, we get something like f of 1 over 1 minus x plus 2 times f of x minus 1 over x equals 1 over 1 minus x. Here, what we do is to replace all of this x with 1 over 1 minus x. Now, the second part is we replace all x with this value x minus 1 over x. And if we substitute all of this value to x, we get f of x minus 1 over x plus 2 times f of x equals x minus 1 over x. Now, from here, using these three equations, we can now solve for the value of f of x. What we're going to do is to let capital R be equal to f of x. This f of 1 over 1 minus x, let's call this as capital S. And f of x minus 1 over x, let's call this as capital T. Now using the same process a while ago to solve for the value of f of 2, we get the value of f of x. And if we saw this, you can verify that f of x is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared minus 6x plus 4 all over 9x squared minus 9x. Now at this point, you can now verify if we substitute all x with 2, you get f of 2 equals 2 over 3. Therefore, in this question, given f of x plus 2 times f of 1 over 1 minus x equals x, then the value of f of 2 is 2 over 3 and the value of f of x if you want to find the value of f of x is x cubed plus 3x squared minus 6x plus 4 all over 9x squared minus 9x and as always we are done